Hi, this is uh, Rikus and Simon, uh, working for the Dutch Postcode Lottery. And for the Dutch Postcode Lottery, we're international charity ambassadors, which means that for half a year, we'll be traveling the world, visiting different projects. And today we are in Sao Paulo, and uh, we're visiting a project called uh, Reporter Brazil. Reporter Brazil is an NGO that is fighting in the last 10 years uh, for improvements in the uh, human rights, labor rights, environmental rights of the populations in the fields, in the rural areas of Brazil. And with Reporter Brazil, we went to the, uh, to the city of Piracicaba. Piracicaba. And probably I say it totally wrong, but Marcel in the back is coming up front later on. You can say it again. Piracicaba. And Reporter Brazil is funded by Stichting Doen in their PSSP program. And that means uh, Program uh, Sustainable Soy and Palm. And you're probably wondering uh, if it's a soy and palm program. Why are you standing in a field with sugarcane then? Because Reporter Brazil is researching in the last few years the most important crops in Brazil and soybean is one of them but sugarcane is also one of them. Reporter Brazil uh, researched the social environment impacts caused by the mating crops agricultural crops in Brazil. A lot of uh, new companies are starting uh, new areas of sugarcane, soybean, uh, corn, and this is a cause of problems, of labor, social, environment problems. In the, the, uh, the in Reporter Brazil is researching uh, some of these uh, impacts and uh, what are the responsibility of the companies in these impacts? Today we visited the Sindicato dos Trabalhadores Rurais, and that uh, sort of like is the workers' union uh, that around uh, Piracicaba. Piracicaba. Caba. Piraci. Piracicaba. Thank you. Around Piracicaba uh, is active uh, to help out around 4,000 uh, workers that work here. We visited the syndicate today. Can you tell us more about that? We visited today uh, a labor union uh, of the workers that uh, have jobs in sugarcane fields. And uh, many of this, these workers uh, could cut the sugarcane and as uh, we can uh, uh, see in our researchers, many of these uh, workers uh, have problems with labor papers, security problems, uh, they don't have uh, good water to drink and even in the worst cases there are slave labor. Marcel, are there still slaves in Brazil? Uh, of course we have uh, slaves in Brazil. In the last 10 years, 40,000 workers are freed in Brazil. Marcel, I was wondering, are the conditions changing for workers in Brazil? Yes, things is getting better, but you need to keep pressure. Okay, uh, we were really surprised when we were at the syndicate that uh, things were so uh, so good there for the people that worked there. There was like an old uh, dentist uh, room, there was like a little doctor's room. Uh, is the situation improving in Piracicaba? The situation is improving in Piracicaba for two reasons. The first one is that the public attorney, the workers' labor union and some majors of uh, cities of this re uh, region uh, are working together to press the companies to improve the labor situation in the field. Uh, another important reason is that in Piracicaba uh, are the headquarters of Raizen. Raizen is the joint inventory between Cosan and Shell, the Dutch company Shell. And Raizen wants to become the international model of good behavior uh, in the relationship between company and workers. Uh, of course, what we uh, could see here in Piracicaba is, is different, completely different uh, in, related to uh, what happened in another uh, parts of Brazil, in other parts of the country, where the situation of the worker, uh, the workers, and the situation of the, the environment is uh, worse. So we like the work of Reporter Brazil, but what has Stichting Doen to do with it? 
We have received uh, in the last few years a lot of important support from Doom and uh, one part of this support uh, went to our educational project that permits that Reporter Brazil can teach uh, in many areas of Brazil uh, about subjects like human rights and labor rights.